And we are downtown Rapid City with Melissa Wood at Melissa Wood Gallery. That's where we're at. Yay. Name says it all. Yes. So you're an artist. Talk a little bit about how you sort of started that road of watercolor yeah. painting. I started, well, I've always been interested in art. I took art mm -hmm. classes in middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've always loved to paint. Mm -hmm. And one night I was at a party and I met Richard Dubois, who was mm -hmm. an art professor at Black Hill State at the time. And mm -hmm. I told him that I wanted to paint and he invited me to paint with a group of ladies uh, at his home on Fridays. And mm -hmm. so I went. I didn't paint right away because I was so intimidated. I think I went to his class for two months before mm -hmm. I actually painted because mm -hmm. I was so nervous. But so in the end, I had about 1800 hours of classes with him. Mm -hmm. And so he's really my main mentor who taught me to paint. And I've taken other classes too, but I, I've always loved to paint and I'm, I'm just finally finding my happiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what was it about watercolor painting, that, I guess that drew you to that medium? Watercolor painting to me is the most challenging. Mm -hmm. um, it's really uh, temperamental. It's hard to get the look that you're going for. You have mm -hmm. to think about how moist the paper is. What kind of paint is this? Does it granulate a lot? Does it, is it opaque? Is it transparent? Mm -hmm. How will it layer with another color paint? And mm -hmm. so um, I just like the challenge of it. And I think it's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful mediums out there. And now talk about the progression of how you opened the gallery. So I worked for 23 years in the Medicare industry. Mm -hmm. So then I stayed at home for a period of time and I was a caregiver for my aunt and my grandma. Mm. And in the meantime, I was just painting. I have four kids, I was raising them, but I was always painting. Mm. So things are slowing down. My daughter went to college. My last one left the nest. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, what am I going to do next? What's the next chapter? Mm -hmm. And all signs kind of led to opening this little gallery. I wanted it to be small and intimate and personal. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a lot of fun. Talk about what's in the gallery besides your paintings. <laughs> yes, I've got a lot of my paintings, a mm -hmm. lot of originals and prints, mm -hmm. but I also have really unique items from around the world, actually. Mm -hmm. I have beautiful, beautiful handmade um, jewelry from a lady in Kenya, Africa. Mm -hmm. I've got pottery from Cookie Anderson and also my daughter, Callahan Wood. And I've got um, unique wine bottle lanterns, really, with original paintings on them from mm -hmm. Gwen Ray. I have soap from a lady in Massachusetts. So I'm really trying to bring in very unique items that are look very high end, um, but at a very fair price, just to bring something fun and different to Rapid City. Mm -hmm. I'm also the president of the Northern Plains Watercolor Society, which is a local group here. We're, I think, 26 years here mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And we started making handmade greeting cards. They're made out of paintings. All the members contribute paintings and we make beautiful cards. They're all hand signed. Mm -hmm. um, and we sell them for a fundraiser mm -hmm. for only $5 each. Mm -hmm. And we use that money to bring in really great workshop artists for the society. And mm -hmm. if you're interested in those, you can come buy those at my gallery too. Mm -hmm. The Northern Plains Watercolor Society is just a group of artists. Um, you can be a beginner. You're just interested mm -hmm. in watercolor. You don't have to be experienced. We have beginners all the way up to professional artists in our group. Mm. Um, we have about 70 members and we meet once a year for a show that we have at the doll, a members exhibition. And then we also offer workshops. Um, and so if you're ever interested in that, you would just go to northernplainswatercolorsociety.com. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that anyone can paint. Mm -hmm. And no one starts out being a wonderful painter. Mm -hmm. It's practice, it's working hard at it, just mm -hmm. like anything else. Talk about your gallery hours or when can folks come visit? Well, usually I'm here from about 11 to three during the week. So I'm open when I'm here painting. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would be by appointment. So what I tell people is I'm between Red Wing Shoes and Essence of Coffee. They can get a hold of me, I have a Facebook Melissa Wood Gallery. Um, you can email me at melissawood67 at yahoo.com. Okay. And um, you can also call me. All right, Melissa, well, thanks so much for today. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much.